How's it going everyone? My name is Mike and welcome back to this war of mine. So we need a little discussion here. Things have changed a wee little bit. And when I mean wee little bit, I mean a little bit more than a wee. So as you remember last time, we were on night two which we are on here, okay? We're obviously at a different screen from where we ended it. My file got a little bit lost, so I had to start again. And obviously I started again, and with the knowledge I already knew, I changed a few things about for day one and day two. Not so much as a massive change, but I've learned a few new things, and I've just kind of just changed our shelter a little bit, so I have the more important things that I feel I need first, rather than the stupid things I bought the first time I played this. I have two beds now, instead of one, so that means I have extra kind of sleeping patterns on during the day, so I can have two people guard at night, and then I can just have them sleep through the day, and just let the timer kind of run out for a bit, and then after that, I've kind of got the, the thing to cook food. The thing that has changed that you may notice is the, um, kind of places we can go is a bit different there's a shelled cottage but it's different than the other place i went to um there is still a person there and i did go there on night one as if you previously remember i didn't go anywhere on night one because i didn't know what i was doing so my head on grabbing like materials and all that kind of things than i was before so now we're going into night two so the series depending on how long it's going to take me i may do two days and two nights per episode depending on how long it's going to take there's a lot of things to search building um depends on if how long i spend in the shelter out scavenging if i end the day short so we'll just see how it goes so i'm going to try and do two days and two nights in each episode if not more so this one's going to be a little bit longer because it's this is um night of day two if that makes any sense so we're going to have then day three day three night day four day four night we'll go into day five and we'll probably end that episode there if that made any sense and if you're still with me let's go back to the sheltered cottage which is different than the place we went to before and i've been there already but there were some things i left because i've still got some lock pits and there's a guy walking about which i want to beat the shit into so let's go okay so there's a couple of things i didn't do here was one as i didn't scavenge everything it actually looks like it's changed a little bit what i can scavenge two i couldn't build a shovel on day two so that means trying to remove all the rubble it takes a very long time and i actually forgot to build a shovel but i couldn't actually build a tool kit i need lots of wood i normally slack on getting wood but we need a lot of it i don't think all these resources would have been refreshed i'm hoping it's just the remainder of stuff that i didn't get what annoys me most is i can only carry two wood at one time the guy that is here, he was in that top bedroom. So we'll take some cigarettes, I'll leave them. We'll take the herbs because they're quite good if I need to trade. On day two, no one came to the house to trade. A little bit different, so good thing is I can take 10 of them. One more. Um, Next thing I learned was, as you can see, Marco is on meds, and the other guy was slightly wounded, and I've put bandages and given him the pills. I found out that if you make him sleep, it also then puts recovering, or um, something of that kind of matter. So, that's good. So I need to try and get him some rest time. I'm just going to grab everything and see what happens. I need to get these guys some rest time before they do anything. So there's the guy walking around up there. Now there's one, I half started on that one, I don't know if it's going to carry on or not, but I'm going to just take this one out, because it's not so much noise compared to that one up there, um, so what I'll do is we'll just get through this one first. Okay, we're nearly done, let's finish that off, that guy's still walking around upstairs, but he's not coming down. Okay, so I need a lockpick for this, it's kind of the choices, there's still the stuff in the shelter which I haven't lockpicked. But when I get a chance, I'm going to build more lockpicks. I'm going to save them for when I'm scavenging. So, scavenge that. Or we'll use it for that, because... You know, I don't know what's in there. They could be absolutely shit. Okay. Well worth it. I've got four slots left, and I want everything there. Gunpowder, is that correct? Yep, gunpowder. I can hold 12 of that. It's amazing. And that's just going to be one bullet. 
I've got a teddy bear. I don't need any more teddy bears. So I'm pretty much done here. Thing is, I don't want to go fight someone because if I get injured, is that just going to cause more problems? Is this going to alert this guy? Oh no, I didn't build a shovel, mate. I'm sorry. Okay, we scavenged that one and for some reason the guy didn't hear me. There's a dead body here. Could be some army guy, so we could have some more bullets. Oh, coffee beans. Uh, that's. I want to start building stuff outside. Definitely want to start building stuff outside. I might have to come back here for a third night. I don't want to go upstairs yet. I need to, like, upgrade this bag. He holds the most, but he really doesn't. <laughs> okay. I want the gun. I want the gun. So let's get rid of some wood. I need the gun parts. That would do me for now. I can live without the rest. And that's just exit back to the thing. So, okay. Night two is over. I guess Marco is back. Hopefully we didn't get attacked. I didn't get attacked on the first night like I did previously because... We had um, two people on guard. Okay, day three. I didn't get attacked on day the night one. No, night two, as previously done. Oh, I don't know. Because I had two people on guard. Ah, I've been raided. I need to barricade things up, man. What did they take? Someone tried to rub us. They didn't seem very determined, so we managed to fend them off. That's cool. Tiba, we had no weapons. None of us were wounded, and the attackers didn't steal anything. We are unable to defend ourselves. Okay, I need to get some defensive stuff. So, you are tired. Hold on. See, look, they're not ill anymore. They're not wounded or ill. You're just tired, so let's just get both of you asleep. With And then I do everything with this guy. I work through it. So, you've got some good food now. We're good. But the carrot stuff doesn't quite fill them up. It still says they're like slightly hungry. So whatever. I don't need to do a third bed yet. I think I might build some medicine things. A table with some simple equipment where we can prepare herbal meds, bandages and low quality roll up cigarettes. We can upgrade it to make real meds in good quality. I think that's going to have to happen if I'm going to get in some fights. But I could do with a tool thing to get a shovel. What's that? So we need 10 of them and 5 of them. We've got 18. No, I'm not going to have enough. What's more important? Meds. Haven't got a radio yet. So I don't know when that stuff's going to happen. So I've decided where everything's going to be, I think. This is going to be the bedroom area, this floor. This is going to be... I did make that last time the thing but I'm gonna make all this the bedroom if possible so I'm gonna make this the clinic so yeah I've just got to leave them too bad I can't like fast forward but and I have already upgraded the house so actually just scavenging this area on day one I built two beds I built the fern uh, the like the cooking thing and I actually managed to still upgrade the house to like level, well, two, I guess it is. All just from scavenging this area. And that's not everything because three things, I think, need, three things need like a pick lock. So, okay, I can't make anything yet. Ooh, there's an item over there that I don't know what it is. Hourglass timer thing. Uh, is that to upgrade it? Yes. Can I make any meds? Okay, what's that? Homegrown tobacco. It's kind of not my focus at the moment. I need to get this guy to go to sleep. Okay, so I'm just... Uh, they've woken up, so I'm just cooking some food at the moment. I've got enough resources to make three of the little kind of campfire things. And we've got three meals. They're all hungry. I personally think they could wait one more day. So I think I'm even willing to push it to day five before I feed them. That's about it. The next thing I figured out that I might want to buy actually is um, maybe go back to the cottage for one last time and pick up the remaining things. Maybe even risk going upstairs. Um, I'm thinking of getting some board like boarding up the windows but it's a lot of wood and I left a lot of wood but I don't think I left 
enough wood <laughs> to block up every window. Um, it's cause in my theory, it's just worth clearing out every single place before I move on to the next one. Just so I know it's clear. Once I know it's clear, then I know I don't have to go back to it and do a search and be all like, Ugh. So, um, these guys have slept. They're fine. He's just sleeping. I think I might just um, end it there and we'll go into uh, night three. I've got enough. I've got enough. I've got enough strength of me to do this. So let's. Uh... Right, there's the guy. Let's just grab all this and go. Let's do it. Fight him. Uh, just grab it and we can get rid of it. Actually, I want to get him while he's there. Go take all. Let's do it. So apparently, I press right trigger to fight. Oh, don't tell me it's not a person. It's like a mouse. Oh, it bloody well is, isn't it? Don't tell me it's not. The door is locked, but I have something I can take care of that. Okay. Yeah. Oh, oh yeah, yeah. i got to get out of this. So that's not actually a person. I'm getting distracted by rats. I can't believe that. The whole time I keep thinking of it. Wow. That's a lot of good resources right there. I'm going to use the pick to get through this as well. But I'm going to get ready to fight, just in case that rat attacks me. Okay, let's do this. It is, it's just a rat. Oh my god, I keep thinking there are people. Oh, there's nothing in here either. Really? So that's not good. Oh no, wait, hold on. I'm not in scavenge mode, am I? Woo! I was like, oh my god, there's nothing in there. The hell? Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Don't care about that. And that is homegrown tobacco. I'm not bothered about that. There's so much I need to take. I'm going to have to come back here again tomorrow night just to clear it out. I need all of that. Need I need all of that. Oh, yeah, look at that. I love little clues. Uh, one of the flyers dropped on the city. It reads, this is a zone of anti-terrorist operation. Persons remaining in the city will be treated as terrorist supporters. For your own and your family's safety, leave Pogorin immediately. <laughs> the army guarantees you a safe passage. Not many believe them after the atrocities they have committed. It's a nice little insight, but there is a lot of stuff to steal there. I'm going to have to come back here for night four, I think, and just clear it out. This guy's still got some stuff hanging in here. Two more places to... that's it. Uh, can't, can't take anything else. Okay, so there's just that. There's probably some stuff down there, and there's some stuff up there, and that's all we got to take. So night four, I'll be back here, which will be in this episode anyway. Let's run to the exit, and um, yeah, we'll take that back. Hopefully we didn't get robbed again. All right, day four. Yes, we didn't get robbed. Or like attacked. Okay, boys. Sleepy, sleep. You look really tired. <laughs> Very hungry. Okay, I might just have to feed them. Let's put them to sleep. Um, how are you doing, Marco? Marco's just hungry. I might be able to just put him off by giving him some veggies. So let's do that. That'll just keep him on level. Won't have to use one of the main meals I've eaten or cooked. I mean, still hungry, but that's not bad. I wanted to get some billboards. I didn't get all the wood, but it's not a bad thing. Radio, when's the cold winter gonna come? What's the temperature now? 17. I think I can leave it for a bit. Right, sh shall we start doing stuff for outside? A simple contraption to collect and filter rainwater needed for cooking and making alcohol. It might be wise to build a couple of them. Oh, okay. Well, I can't do that because... I have not enough materials. I have enough for one. Forget it, I'm doing the rain thing. Put it outside. Or put it there, because that's what you do. Why would you put it there? Can I get it on the top floor? Is it that important that it needs to be 
Do you know what? It might be well out of the way, but I'm going to put it on the top floor. Uh, actually... Let's not do that. Let's put it there. Oh, I really wanted to put it outside. How are you doing up there? You done it? Sweet. Oh, what? Oh, I need one of them. Let's go do one of them then. Uh, which way are we going? Down one more. Need one of those water things. Am I going to have enough to do that though? Yes! Oh, sweet! Oh, no, hold on. What am I doing here? <laughs> I'm trying to multitask and it's not going to work. Actually, you can cancel. You go to sleep. Marco, Pav, Bruno. Finish that off. Okay. Go. Get some water. Sweet. So I won't really have to worry about the water things. You're not eating anymore, mate. I've given you food. Deal with it. What's that? Four hours? Okay. Alright. I think we're done with this day now. Except for that he hasn't eaten. Is he, is he done sleeping? He needs to eat. Oh, he's only hungry. Oh, he's not very hungry. Oh, that's right. I'm going to let him sleep. Okay, everyone, we're going to go into night four. Let's uh, end this. Okay. Oh, hold on. There we go. Uh, guard. Guard. Uh, sorry, and your guard. Your scavenge. Okay. I gotta go back here, I gotta pick up the last lot of stuff and then I think when we get to the next episode we'll go to Garage because that looks like it's gonna be a small and easy place to no lot picks, I don't need any lot picks do I? No. Let's go find all the remaining stuff downstairs. It's gonna be loads of wood I think. Which is what we need. Anything in there? Yes, because it's flashing, so I guess take all of it. And the last bits are upstairs, I think. Oh, no, that, that guy there has some stuff. But, oh, come on. There. Get out of my way, you stupid rat. You annoy me. Just the guy outside which has some gun kind of stuff, I think. Sweet. Fully done on that place now in four nights. Can I take everything? No. Ah. I don't want to come back here. What don't I need? I don't need you. I don't need you. That's for moonshine. I don't need moonshine. That's going to be one of the last things I make. Some drink coffee to find strength in order to survive another day. It's limited availability in wartime makes it a bad abuse. Okay, that's a good trading thing. So if good old Franco comes back. Roll up cigarette made from herbs. Organic ways that we can use as a fertilizer in our garden to grow herbs or vegetables. Always bait. I might grab that. I might. Oh, I can pick three things up. Oh, okay, that's cool. Um, gonna have to get them. Gonna have to get them. Some electronic parts, they will come in handy if we want to introduce advanced improvements to our shelter. Right, it's between one of these two now. We'll go for that. We think ahead. We're done. Night four complete. Alright, there we go guys, cool, this night was calm, got all the stuff we needed, won't carry on, it saved it, uh, we got the bios flashing, um, I thought I'd been through, oh we've read his before, do you guys have any, yeah let's read his, before this whole mess begun, oh yeah, I wish I could help Bruno, he looks so hungry, and we've read his day 4 bio haven't we? And Mr. Bruno, so hungry, I'd kill for a can of meat. Oh, OK, 
could have traded some of that. Anyway guys, day 5, we've done pretty much all we can up until this point. I'm going to have to go to a new location, which I think I'm going to go to the garage. In my head it seems like it's going to be a small place to quickly loot rather than a tiered house like the cottage or the semi-detached kind of properties so we'll go there after that and we'll pause it because the time is going to keep carrying on and as always if you enjoyed the video hit that like and subscribe button and i'll see you again soon for the next episode peace